time do they open? First Goodwill, I'm in a Goodwill. And, uh, yeah, they are open, look at that. First one's in the Goodwill. All right, for these, I'm always looking for red lines when it comes to Matchbox cars. I'm gonna go through all of these and see if I find these. These are only $2, which really isn't all that bad. You find a red line. A red line. The Jet Sport. Oh, what is that? Hmm. So I'm always looking for tennis rackets that are solid like this. This one's pretty beat though at the top on the guard. But I'll definitely look this one up. Um, strings are actually all broke too, so you would need to have this thing like the hammer. It's decent, but this one's really in bad condition. And I always look for them to be solid right here, because it usually means they're worth a lot more money than the ones that aren't solid. Good timbers. Man, it's a nice pair. Zero grand, solid thing, but the, the inside's all messed up. They don't even look like they're in that bad of condition. A little on the toe. But this would be a good buy if the inside wasn't messed up for sure. These usually go for like 40 bucks. Dang. Just wanted to bring these over to you to show you how sad this is. Oh. U.S. Man. I guarantee these things would be worth 50, 60 bucks if they were in better condition. Sad. So sad. Such good shoes. All of them are tore up. This is Seth Thomas clock. I think it should have a... Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and grab this thing. We know it works. It just has a little thing right there I gotta clean up. But this... Still has its protective wrapper on it, so probably like 50 bucks. What you find? Look at that thing. How much is that? Only three bucks? You could paint something cool on that. Yeah. Is that all wood? It's kind of like crooked though. It's like warped. That's yeah. a. Let me see. It's crooked. It'll never slim the wall right. Alright, so far nothing. There's some hats. They're like pretty expensive here. Two dollars a hat. Got a Nike tag on it. Got a Nike Air tag. How much does the Nike Air tag would cost? It's definitely not a Nike bag. But that is pretty neat. That's actually really cool. Ooh, look at this thing. Oh, I got some major stains on it. Hmm. Is that a real one? Let's see. Uh, yeah, Disneyland Resort. Dang. Shame's got a lot of stains. Alright, there's gotta be something good in here. Godzilla. That's nice. A lot of furniture in Goodwills now, I've noticed that. What is this thing? Toilet. Toilets are so expensive nowadays. Heading zoo. Hm. You're definitely. Oh, babe! What are the chances of that? It's got a busted ear. Keep hitting that and making people listen to it. So, that's pretty cool. Actually, we could put that on one of the shelves. It's a build a bear. Yes, she is. With a with build a bear boots. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. We'll see. I can't believe the uh, the angry pig. 
Yeah. I mean, I feel like it's still pretty good. It's not that busted. Take a look. It's got a little spot right there. But you said they were worth like a lot of money. Yeah, but the, the ones that had like uh, the different. All right, well, these are worth a lot of money, but what is this thing? Babe, what, do you, what type of animal is that? A weasel? Mm -hmm. 34, 32, they're my size too. Dang, it's probably a good deal. Holy crap, these are Harley. Harley Davidson Elvis pajama bottoms. That's gonna be a keeper. A turntable. These turntables are yeah, 65 bucks for that. Transformers are worth some money. If you're find the clocks that have the little flippy things, like the flip, like psh, for the time, they're worth some money in that wood grain. Uh oh, here we go, five bucks. Ones with the blue lines in the front, always a pickup. Don't even usually have to comp them out on this one. I'm gonna guess it still works too because they have the cords to say 2TV. So they probably just got rid of it. Just looking at them. How much are they? Let's see how much these bad boys are. Six bucks. Nine dollars. Yeah, hundred percent. These bad boys are coming home. Hundred percent. Bro, I cannot believe we found these for only six dollars. Grand Venture, nineteen ninety nine. That'll work. Got them. Back from the thrift store, let's go over the stuff we picked up. We picked up some really awesome items that are sitting over here, but let's go ahead and get started over here first with the Build a Bear. Build a Bear, uh, usually the bears themselves, if they're just kind of plain, I don't pick up, but since they have clothing on and this one has a sound inside, I go ahead and pick them up. They're really cheap at the Goodwill, like 99 cents or like a dollar. And uh, the thing is, is these boots alone will go for about nine to fifteen dollars plus shipping and then each bear and bunny here will go for about seven bucks plus shipping and then the clothing you can either keep the clothing on the bear or sell it separately and clothing clothing usually goes also for five to ten dollars a piece depending on the clothing I kind of use this when I do anything else is that I usually part these bears out so I'll take the clothing off and then just sell the bear separately and to be honest with you the clothing sells a lot better for me than the actual bear unless the bear or bunny or whatever it is is more collectible but the clothing sells the best. Seth Thomas, really good name brand when it comes to wall clocks or really any other type of clock. This one was only $3.99. It does work, it needs a little work, has a little bend in it right there. Some of these clocks with that name want to go for thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. The only one I could find that was close to this was one on Etsy for 65 bucks. Hasn't sold yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on eBay for 50, but I think I can get 50 bucks for it. The Nike AirTag you saw on the bag, they did allow me to remove this and just buy this as a keychain, and they only charged me 79 cents for this, and this sells for probably around uh, 10 to 15 dollars on eBay plus shipping, and obviously super easy to ship. This is really cool, and I uh, haven't seen these before. And there's none listed, none sold, so I was looking on Google, because I was like, this thing has got to have sold before. These are Harley Davidson, Graceland, so Elvis, like pajama bottoms, and Worth Point. I always talk about Worth Point. I think it's a very good 
way to look things up and research. Uh, they have last been listed like in 2017 or 2019 for, and they sold for 20 bucks. I think since the movie just came out or I, I really think that I can get probably 25 to 35 bucks for these. I'm going to go ahead and list them high just because that they're so unique and there's none for sale. I have like the only pair and, uh, and see what happens. But I really think I can probably get 25, $35. And this one here is a Panasonic PV4652, has a blue line in the front. And usually I just pick these up. Some of them that are gray and not made uh, a little bit actually with plastic and this one's metal. Go for a little bit more money, upwards of 60 bucks. This one here, still probably about 30 to 35 bucks plus shipping and I only picked it up for $5. I don't even test these in our Goodwills because we have a three day return policy when it comes to uh, electronic so I come home within three days test it if it doesn't work I just take it back and get a full refund so not too bad there and then these never for before seen in a goodwill I've never I've, I've never seen them in a goodwill and I barely actually really see these at yard sales I find a lot of these on Facebook marketplace worth money but if you didn't know these old blow mold uh, Christmas especially Halloween these things can go for a ton of money as you can tell Santa Claus right there is really tall I think he's like 42 inches maybe but uh, little drummer boys right here, super cheap. Only picked them up for six dollars for them, and then nine dollars for Santa. But each one of these goes for about sixty-five bucks plus shipping. I will probably sell them together. A lot of these also sell just as much locally as they do on eBay. So if I wanted to, I could probably lock these up for like maybe a hundred and twenty bucks or hundred dollars. Uh, locally and they will sell and then Santa Claus right here he's an easy 150 bucks he's in really good condition too not a lot of like paint gone either and he's holding the puppies and he's got the puppies down there and I think he's 42 inches so uh, easy 150 on him and then probably 120 on both of these as a set so but a really, really good score in the Goodwill for these. Now to the whiteboard. We spent a whopping $40 on everything right there with a potential sales of $438. You have to go ahead and take a lot out of that to get your net profit. You have to go ahead and take 20% for fees, so that equals $348. Then you have to go ahead and subtract the initial $40 that you spent on everything, and that equals $308. Not a lot of work here. This was only a couple yards, I mean, Goodwills on a set Friday, and we're gonna say eight hours of total work that's gathering shipping listing cleaning all that stuff because there's really not a lot of product here and that equals $38.50 an hour and you know that equals smiley face so if you're new to the channel welcome my name is Julian also is the beer thread machine here on YouTube I buy stuff flip it online and make YouTube videos about it so right there super good day at the Goodwills we have actually been hitting the Goodwills a lot more lately because in my area for some reason, just yard sales aren't really existing right now. They, uh, we've been having a lot of rain. It seems like for the last three weeks, every Saturday, it's been raining. So it rained uh, this last Saturday, the last Saturday, and they're calling for rain this Saturday. So a lot of rain, so I've gotta be in the Goodwill, finding some inventory and getting it listed online and getting it on eBay so I can flip it to make some money. So I do appreciate everybody that's been watching. Again, we are going towards 50,000 subscribers. So I thank everybody that's been watching and subscribing and I much appreciate it. Also, if you guys have been wondering what's going on with the boat situation, remember I had the boat flipped over, my, we said we we're gonna go ahead and fix it and everything. Let me just flip the camera around. All right, so the thing was my dad actually had a John boat too that had a little bit less of an engine on it, it had like a nine, 9.9 mercury and I had a, a, a little bit better engine I have a 15 uh, Yamaha with the actual um, electric start he had a pool start so a lot better there and he had a better boat that didn't need any fixing so basically what we did was we just swapped engines got rid of the boat with all the holes in it we upgraded the trailer to his trailer and then I went ahead and just put my engine on it so there will be no rebuilding boat and I didn't actually uh, film us swapping engines and getting this boat ready because it was really kind of boring all we did was swap engines on it so not too bad there but we actually do have a boat now so uh we haven't had a whole bunch of time to go fishing but hopefully soon i do appreciate it if you've been watching you know i will always catch you on the next one